So, recording this later than I wanted to. Um, because 12, you know, I haven't gotten the most sleep the past three nights. So, I was hoping with my, um, I still have two more days off. Um, but you know, I want to recover my sleep, you know, so. But I was watching the presidential debate, so. That took up some of my time. I was on and off, you know. My grandma's a fucking anti-Trump freak. Or else how you feel. Uh, you know, trying to stay neutral and then having that fucking woman yell. I can't swear. Having that woman, um, you know, just because she speaks on emotion. And I try and listen to facts. So if you deny anything she says, or it's like, oh, Joe's looking a bit old. You know, it's like can't stand it you know just whatever um i'm not gonna speak on that but um i do like the segment at the end where they talk about who they think won you know it show they did the fact checks and bella get the fuck out And yeah, because I I don't get into politics because it's all, they can say what they want, but there's only one truth and then I don't exactly know where to get that truth, so. Um, I haven't talked to my girlfriend today, you know, um, yeah, I'm, I'm sick of this shit. I, I love her. And even though I'm not going to be giving her much time, like as much time, it's like, bro, we said we were going to fucking, we said we were going to talk about it last night or, or later. Like, I can't, I can't do it. I can't. You know, like, even if she is still gonna show up, you know, like, come down to Connecticut for a week this summer, I, I don't, I don't know if I care. But being single won't be the worst thing ever. I love her. I do. And I know she loves me back. But I can't deal with this no contact stuff, you know? Like, I, I'm, get a phone. I thought you were getting a phone. Like, I gotta talk to her. Get that off my mind. One thing I'm grateful for. I'm grateful for. I'm grateful uh, for my park because there's a lot of fields, you know. Um, I just realized you know, there's a, there was a ton of times where there's like games being played at the park or something. Because um, there's like some baseball fields, some soccer fields, some football fields. Um, but there hasn't been recently, so that's been good. Maybe it's the time of day. Probably not. Because that's the time of day when you'd expect it to happen, like, around 1-ish, you know? So, I don't know, maybe those other games that I saw were school games? I don't know. And now school's out, but... We're for my park, because I've been going there a lot recently, like, every day for, uh, past four or five days, so... And it hasn't, it's never, like, too packed. Like, there's nobody there. So, um, yeah, so I was trying my backflip thing again, and, uh, part three's up, and I'm not gonna post another one until I actually backflip, but, um, I will keep practicing and trying to get comfortable, 
I'll keep at it with the handsprings, and I imagine that'll evolve the more I do it. I hope it does, or else uh, I don't know how I'll make progress. <laughs> but, um, yeah, I think I have been getting leaner, um, which is good. It means what I've been doing is working, and because I feel like I can see it, that's either because I haven't been checking the scale, so the last known number is like whatever, and now it's like, it's definitely, it's, I feel like it's changed um and you know it means what i'm doing is working and um i'm doing a lot more so that could be why you know like physical activity maybe why i'm showing more than this um, okay. i don't know if my shoulders are still red that's because i was um doing those um things where I like roll back you know but uh yeah everything of the day I did leave a pen here everything of the day has just been um I don't even know what I said the day before it is Thursday I, I missed two days oh yeah cause yesterday I was in the car what did I say yesterday? I don't know. But today, my favorite thing was uh, overall productiveness. Productivity. Um, yesterday... I don't remember what I said. I guess I'll have to look back. Um, I have another job opportunity as well. It's another online uh, thingy, like AI. Um, we'll see how that goes. But um, once again, it's from the person who referred me to the first job. Um, thank you. Um, I've expressed much more than just this thank you. Um, as far as thanks go. And, yeah, just going out of your way. It's really nice. Um, but yeah, I talked to Lily today. Not that that's important, but, um, I talked to A a little bit as well. Because he's, I guess, had a bit more time. And, um, they might be a thing again. I don't know. Like, I don't really care. But... Uh, the 29th, I'm supposed to be going over to Lily's house to help her move. And A was going to be there. But, um... Not anymore. Apparently he's going to be in Rhode Island. So, but, uh, like, you know, whatever. He's a hard worker. So it's, you know, work-related. Uh, good for him. You know, it's been a while since the three of us talked, so... Yeah, I think my coworker likes me unless I'm stupid. I don't know. I've been driving her home. It's that coworker, the one I've been driving home. And um I'm not really interested in her. You know, I have a girlfriend for now. But um I'll be honest, like, I thought she was, like, one of those hot Cheeto girls, but it seems like she's not really, um, she's loud, but she's not the obnoxious kind of, she is, but she's not, like, ratchet, you know, um, I don't know how else to put it, she's just not very ratchet, as ratchet as I thought, because I used to go to school with her, uh, what well, leads me to believe that, so she has a boyfriend, first off, they're not doing well, and that's whatever. Uh, apparently he's really insecure, right, and behind the scenes, he's, I really don't want to get into another era of this, you know, like, today marks the one year anniversary of the day that me and this other girl's boyfriend had conflict and whatever, and, you know, like, it's reminding me of that, you know, but, um, 
So her and her boyfriend are having problems. They're like two months old together. Um, and you know, me driving her home, he apparently has a problem with that. You know, he shows up at the job sometimes because, um, I don't know, he'll just show up at Burger King and, you know, like everyone knows him. You know, and he seems really cool, but, you know, like, he won't say it to my face all the problems he has. Uh, which I can't blame him, you know, like, he, there's no reason for him to be that insecure about bringing that up to somebody else who's kind of unrelated and you don't know the intentions of is uh, a bit different. But, you know, I was meaning to talk to him about, you know, like, I don't want to overstep any boundaries. Are you okay with me driving her home, you know? Um especially after hearing him having problems, you know, just confront him about it. Uh, if you're not comfortable with it, you know, if you think I have any ill will, I'll clear things up. If you don't want me to drive her home at all, that's perfectly fine, you know. But, yeah. Uh, I believe if she likes me. I, don't know. I had three hints. I had three hints today. Women are like, oh, men don't understand hints, but it's like, I think I got all three of them. Um, so the first one, I don't know. I'm trying to remember it. Uh, so basically, first one was, so first off, she said she got my snap from a mutual friend, but it's my friend, but kind, they, she used to be friends with the other person. Uh, she's like, sorry, you know, I didn't want to ask you directly for your snap because I thought that'd be weird. And I was like, yeah, it's all right. I didn't really think you had any weird intentions anyways. Um, or she was like, I don't want you to think I was crazy if I, you know, or you'd think I was crazy if I just asked for it. And I was like, yeah, I didn't think you had weird intentions. So she was like, well, what if I did something like that? And I mean, I don't know, that could be its own thing, but there's something else that she said that made me think it was that. I just can't remember. And then, uh, some other thing. I don't know, she was trying to um, keep the conversation alive as soon as she got my snap. She probably sent me a snap that I hadn't looked at already. Um, you know, like, if I, even if it's something where I think the conversation should end, she'll respond again. So I keep going. That's its own thing. But I'm not trying to read too deep into it. You know, I'm not interested. Um, I'd probably be more, you know. Really, I don't see myself being with someone like her. You know, I've, I've seen, I've already seen what those types of people will get me into. You know, it's not going to be beneficial to me in my life at all. Uh, or just introduce more chaos and whatever. Uh, but another thing is, um. Uh, Well, I know the, this was after the first two, right? So I don't want to say it yet, because there's, there's another one. Um, oh, she said I was okay looking. Right, which, uh, she didn't have to say anything at all. She's like, you're okay. I don't know, the, the fact that she tiptoed around it susses me out. You know, um... That's besides the point. I think that was the other one, but literally after those two, so I was, I was like, okay, I think she likes me, and I don't know if I should just cut her to the chase, you know, beat her to it, and uh, be like, hey, um, I have a girlfriend, and I'm not interested in you, or, um, you know, just let things ride out and keep driving her home until, you know, she does something. Over. Here was the other one. She said, um, I've been a B word because I can't say that word because I choose not to in these videos anymore. Um, just cause. And, um, she's like, I should just, I've been wanting to do this thing, but I keep not doing it. And I thought she was talking about killing herself. The way she was talking about it, like, what would she not want to talk about? You know, like. Like, I'm a B-word because I'm not doing this thing, you know. 
So I was like, she better not. She's like, no. Uh, but it's some, it, this thing, I should uh, do it, and I've been a B word about it. And I was like, well, procrastinating is not good. You know, if you do it, and it's, if you do it, then good things come out of it, or you forget about it. And if you don't do it, then you're not going to forget about it, and bad things going to happen. So, yeah, but here's the thing. So I drove her home. Um, and I'm like, how are you and your boyfriend, you know, at some point during the ride? She's like, it's been like chaos or whatever she said. She was like, I don't even know what she said today. Oh, she had an argument with him because, uh, unless this is a lie and she just said it, like, because she knew I was going to bring it up. But she was like, he said, you know, that I should just F you, you know, because he's, as I said, he's insecure, so, because I'm driving, um, driving her home, he's really freaked out about it, so he's, you know, doing all that, whatever, um, and, so then, you know, at one point, you know, so she, so she said that, and she's like, she said, he said, you should just go date him then she's like fine i will go date him then referring to me i don't know i feel like if that wasn't a hint she would have corrected herself you know because when i first started talking to her uh getting to know her at work i don't know it seems like she would have not done that you know it's i think i, th I think she would have said something like not that i would date you or anything like no disrespect you know something like that but, um, it's like, fine, I will date him then, you know? So it's like, she didn't try and misconstrue, and I, and I was like, well, it's kind of feeding into my suspicions. I didn't really skip a beat. I was just like, going into how messed up that is that he would do that, you know, whatever. I think I was like, I would give you advice on it, but crazy motherfuckers, crazy people, like that, you know, they're the type of people to not leave you after you try and break up and, you know, do something crazy in the next few days after, you know, so I, I don't want to get involved in any of that, seems like I already am, and after the first thing she said, um, when she said, you know, I was trying not to really feed into too much. She was saying not, um, you know, kind of pull that energy out of her. I was just sending stupid things and being dumb. I wasn't really trying to be, like, deep in conversation or anything like that. Just kind of existing in the conversation. Um, but I left her, like, on red when she said, um... What if I, what if I did have crazy intentions or, you know, like, whatever. Uh, you know, or weird or whatever the word was. I think it was crazy. Um, I mean, yeah. I don't feel any type of way. I'm not, I'm just not interested, you know, so that's all it is for me. It's not like, oh my god, she likes me. You know, it's not like, oh, someone likes me at all you know like I'm not giddy about it it's just like I've been nice trying to drive you home and it's all I hope it'll be you know so basically she was like I was trying to end things off with him today or I think she said she's gonna do it tomorrow or like whatever because yeah he's kind of fuck weird he's kind of weird I'm a bit tired so that's probably why so many things are slipping it's still part of my daily vocabulary, so you'll have to excuse me. Um, yeah, I'm not trying to get involved. He would probably beat me up. He's pretty big, and he's taller than me. And it doesn't always matter, but he's he's bigger than me. By, uh, he's, he's probably like 190. One, 180, 190, I don't know.
and I'm over here trying to cut weight. I'm like one, probably like 132 right now. And I don't know how to fight, never been in a fight, and, you know, he just seems like a crazy guy, so. You know, if, if I'm, so I'm going to confront him about it eventually, I'm going to be like, I don't want to overstep any boundaries, I don't want you and her to be fine, if they're still together by the time I talk to him next. Um, or he found me driving her home, you know. I don't want it to seem like she's told me everything he said. I just want to be like, hey, um, I've been meaning to ask you, um, just because, you know, I know you're her boyfriend you know uh and I know how I would feel so I don't want to overstep your boundaries you know like are you okay with me driving her home just because I I feel like it's something I should ask him even if it'd be a big inconvenience for her if he's like no then it's like whatever fine um because again that's someone's girlfriend um I don't know how I would feel and I understand that a ton of other men in my position might feel that type of way and be trying to slide in so to speak you know, but I'm just, she's cool to talk to, you know, I also told her I was having problems with my girlfriend, so I hope she's not thinking it's a good opportunity or whatever, um, you know, she said how's life, and I was like, uh, most things are great, but there's a few miserable things, and she said, what's the miserable things, I'm here to talk to you. And I was like, my girlfriend, well, I said her name. And yeah, she knows her name. Um, she's like, how so? I, I was just like, I don't want to talk about it. I, it's on my mind enough already. I talk about it enough. There's no point analyzing it anymore. I just need to talk to my girlfriend. You know, I, as much as I can try and drown her out, like, it's crazy and even if I do decide to leave, I'm not leaving without a word, you know. I don't I don't do that. I'm not doing it over text. I'm not doing none of that. I I'm verbalizing it. But it's just the sum like <clears throat> she's supposed to be having a fun summer. Why can't I I guess cause I need her. Like when I need you, like or let me know. Like it's just the whole fuck it's the it's whole communication system. It's not that she's gone, it's just the fact that there's nothing I can do to contact her. And if I need something, I don't have it. If she needs something, I'll always get back to her. I'm so done. Okay, I missed. I was just trying to punch this water bottle. Okay. My arm is too short to really turn over the punch. Ooh. Boom. The Nate Diaz flex. So I'm going to sleep. I'm getting at least seven hours tonight, but depends on when I fall asleep, actually. But yeah, peace.